Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing the last three insect orders that um, we are concerned with in this ecological survey. So here we have Diptera. The order Diptera includes flies and flies are characterized by having one pair of functional wings. So they do have four wings. However, over time, they have evolved to have reduced hind wings and they're very tiny and they look kind of like clubs and they're known as haltiers and they help flies to fly more efficiently. And many people don't know this, but mosquitoes are of the order Diptera. So first we have this housefly and these mos this mosquito, which you're probably familiar with both of those. However, on the bottom, we've got some really cool flies. These are both robber flies and they look really, really different. So the one on the left is mimicking a dragonfly or a damselfly perhaps, and the one on the right is mimicking a bumblebee. And both robber flies are predators, and this is a very interesting predatory mechanism. Um, take for instance the robber fly that's mimicking the bumblebee. Bumblebees, the real bumblebees, are what you would consider vegetarian because they um, only eat pollen and nectar. They don't feed on other insects. However, robber flies, like I said, they're predatory. So um, unsuspecting insects might fly by this robber fly thinking it's a bumblebee, thinking they're not in trouble, and this allows this robber fly to swoop them up. So it is a very good predatory mechanism. Next, we have Dermaptera. So the order Dermaptera includes earwigs. Earwigs are nocturnal and they're characterized by having a pair of cerci, which are sensory organisms on the tip of their abdomen, right down here. And they can be used for pinching or they can be used for mating. And they also have a thin pair of wings. However, they are rarely used. And here's a picture of an earwig. And as we can see, it has the cerci. And so that's how you're going to be able to tell earwigs apart from other insects. And lastly, we have the order Blatodia. So the order Blatodia includes roaches and termites. And they might not look very similar. However, they do have some similar behaviors. So both roaches and termites have social behavior and have the ability to communicate with others. And termites even live in social colonies like honeybees do. And they con construct these incredibly elaborate nests. And on the next slide, we'll see a picture of one of those. Um, as for their morphology, cockroaches typically have a flattened oval body like is seen right here in this diagram. And they're typically um, like brown in color. Termites, on the other hand, are really tiny. They're like a grain of rice, um, about the size of a grain of rice, and they appear to be brownish or white in color. And because um, they're social, termites have a caste system, which determines what the individuals look like, their size, and that kind of thing. So for example, reproductive individuals have wings, soldiers have large mandibles, and workers are the smallest of all the castes. And this is because there is a division of labor in the caste system. So here we've got some pictures. We've got this termite and we know it's of the soldier caste because it has some large mandibles. And this is a termite nest. Do you see how big that is? That is incredible. We've also got this Madagascar hissing cockroach and those are extremely cool. Um, many people keep them as pets and the UT insect collection actually has some hissing cockroaches that um, they bring to demonstrations and outreach events. And lastly down here, we've got the American cockroach, which is the cockroach that you're probably most familiar with. So thank you for tuning in and in the next video, we are going to be covering some bonus arthropods.